happy Merry Christmas to all you guys that celebrate Christmas. Otherwise, happy December 25th. Uh, that's Sap, because that's what I do on Christmas. Yeah, but I spend a lot of time watching the Food Network. I, I, I do like to cook. I don't have the opportunity anymore, but um, I do like to cook. And they use a, there's a pan that they use an awful lot when they're doing eggs and things, uh, scrambled eggs and stuff. It's like my frying pan, but it's, it's got a curved edge to it, and um, it's a little higher so that you can throw in a, you know, if you've made scrambled eggs, if you throw in a, a pretty good helping and it, it reduces down. And when you're starting around, you're sloshing things around. And somebody asked me, you know, man, I like a pan like that. So that's what we're going to do. I know I... Starting to get there, looking about two inches deep at this point. Be nice once you get to the end if that's deep enough, but when that edge is hot, I'll hammer it down and that should shrink it. I'll stretch it just where I want my rim to be. Higher. General body concave on the bottom, right? It's higher than we want it to be. I'm going to go around again and... Uh, usually take a piece of half inch round, put just a bit of a tip on it. Like that. And I, I just got sidetracked 100% from there. Um, we do have one hell of a big pan. <laughs> I don't know what it measures now. All right, I got, a, I think, a decent season on this thing. It looks really good. Uh, nice and hard coating. If it's sticky, it's not done. And uh, All right, it took a little while for that, for those uh, fire brick to heat up. Understandably so. I'm going to use the pipe wrench knife today. Haven't used it for anything real. We'll see how she does. Looks like she does a good job to me. Oh yeah, she's sharp. Holy shamali, she's sharp. I just want to cut the plastic, but I'm cutting where I don't want to. It's just monster cut. It's a cutter. It's a cutter for sure. So I'm going to throw this bacon in. Anyway, this should be sizzling. We still have pan enough for it, don't we? Oh, hell, throw it in there. Uh, cheap bacon. It all tastes good, but... She ain't coming apart well. Screw it two at a time. Call it thick, thick bacon. So there's a bacon wrapper. We'll set that out to the side. And then our potato. I'm just gonna, let's see. I'm just gonna go like, oh yeah, that's nice. I don't like them too thick because I like them crunchy. So we'll do something like that. Salt and pepper would be good on those. This board's dirty. The potatoes are dirty now. Sad. Bacon looks like it's doing all right over there. So let's do some seasoning here. We'll put a little garlic salt on them. A little onion powder on them. And uh, what the hell? Since I brought it, we'll throw some basil on them. Oh yeah, those taste and smell really good. Just give that a little drizzle of olive oil right now before we put it in the pan. Don't really need it. But we might give it a little flavor, so we'll just a little drizzle of olive oil there. And we'll get the, uh, either the wacula or the spatula out. I wonder why that don't go on tight now. That's going to be something wrong there. Uh, 
And we're just gonna throw these in and let them cook with the bacon. With the bacon. We'll throw these, oh shoot, kick them, you're still almost there. Let them cook with the bacon. Because they do take a little while to cook. Now we'll mix them right in with the bacon. Yeah, it could be a little hotter, but we'll see those fires rip heat up a little more. If not, I can remove them and I'll have all the heat that I need. We'll just let those slow cook for a little while. And I'll be back. Alright, those guys are cooking off pretty darn well right now. And I'd say they only have a few more minutes. Potatoes are starting to brown. I like brown potatoes. Bacon's going to be a little overdone, but that's alright. What we're going to use it for, I think. Yeah, we're getting on the home stretch here. So let's get our eggs mixed up. All right, so again, the whole point of making that pan was to have a good scrambled egg pan to have. And then obviously I went overboard and made it too big. But we're gonna do some scrambled eggs. I'm gonna probably put a whole dozen in just to see how they all go. So, number one, two, Three. I guess you guys can count. It's in here. That one was a tough one. There we go. Only one little shell. Let me just give this a stir and cool it down a little. So we gotta hurry up. So in our eggs, let's throw a little onion salt. I always put pepper in, but oh god, that's uh, onion powder actually. A little garlic powder and some basil. That should give it some good flavor. Some milk in there. Let's see, a dozen eggs, about that much milk. Mm, that much milk. And somewhere I got home this piece. So. I can't believe I forgot my pepper. That sucks. left-handed. Yeah, I'll make it like that. Let's go with those nice and mixed. The basil cut will make it look like there's pepper on it. Maybe that'll... Alright, so those suckers are ready to go. Let's go back to the other stuff. So at this point, my potatoes are nice and brown, my bacon's overdone, everything looks good. So we're gonna take this off, put it in something for a minute. Yeah, 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 that looks really good. Oh boy. All right, that is good looking stuff. So I only have one bowl. I wish I had another bowl. I don't think I have anything that I dare use. Let's just put some foil on this to help keep it warm, keep it from soaking through you anyway. We're going to put these back in the eggs when we're done. So I don't, it's okay if they get cooled down. I don't want to walk you with my kid. I don't want to lose any of this grease. Scoop it out like this. 
we don't need a lot though here. You put too much grease in that. Ooh, almost lost my speak in that would be um, in your eggs. And they don't cook as well. So yeah, I got more grease than I need. So let's get some, rid of some of the grease. Actually I like butter, but we'll cook it more. Bacon fat. Couple pieces of bacon in there for flavor won't hurt. And let's see here. How much wood do we have? Let me get rid of some of this. I don't like it too much, but I want to make sure I have enough for the eggs don't stick. Alright, so this pan is gonna go back onto the fire. Because I like a nice hot pan when I go to put the eggs in. So we'll get that sucker heated up again. I'll pull off my little dampers. Get it so she's setting level on the stones. And we'll let that crank up. I'm sure I'll have enough heat there. And then we'll dump the eggs in. I'll be right back. Alright, we're definitely hot enough. So I'm going to turn down my heat a little. I'll turn it down with a big one. A little too hot actually, so hopefully that might come back to bite me. Give my eggs one more little whisk. Just dump those suckers right in there. Keep moving as you do, especially on a hot pan. And that was the whole idea, is to be able to work those eggs without them. Coming over the sides. So that cooled our pan down quite a bit. Now I can turn up the heat a little. I'll take this one off. I'll just put this partial block in. And that should give us enough heat. I'll just sit here and keep working these eggs. They're cooking on the outside too, like around the rim, which is kind of interesting since my heat source is pretty central. Doesn't really matter as long as you stay ahead of them. Got lots of bacon in there, a little bit of grease. A little too much grease. The other grease floats on top. But we'll keep, keep working them for a while here. Now's when I remember to put my pepper in. But so that wok will be handy right now to put the eggs down. If you scrape them and you see them dry on the bottom, you know they're cooking, so you got to keep working. Just keep working. They're always dry on the bottom, so we might have a little too much heat coming up. We'll just double that up. Looks good. Looks good. I'll be back in a few minutes. Won't take long. All right, you guys are cooking down now to the point where I can flip them. I like my eggs. Well, uh, I guess somewhere between dry and run. Not, not too dry, not run. But what we're going to do now that we're at this heat, I want to make sure that the right heat. Those eggs look good, they look good. So what we're going to do next, since they're almost there, I don't want to burn them. Let me put this back in. I'll block a little more heat. We are going to. We are now, you're on the court, and we are now going to dump all of this into that egg mixture. Make ourselves a little hashy kind of thing. Get the eggs mixed in with the potatoes, mixed in with the bacon. I don't know if you, this has a real name or not, but that's what we're doing today. It's the recipe I chose. I figured something different. That looks really good. All 
that stuff heat back up. For a few seconds. God, that looks good. Looks good. Wish I had myself some of that pepper stuff. I meant to pick it up, but I didn't. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to push this stuff off to the side here. Tortilla, just warm it up. Oh, stop. Just it. I think I have enough. No. I said I'm not trying to toast it, I just want it. There's more. I think I need to. Uh, Heat it up a little bit. So I'm gonna do one more same way and I'll be back. Got that other one ready to go. Stuff. Just give her a little roll and tuck. Looks good, looks good. Man, they're hot. Maybe a hot size. Slide this one over. You can even roll it over. I don't know if, no, if I can. I only got a good. It'd be nice to toast them on both sides. We'll see. We'll give it a few minutes here. See if I can toast them on both sides. I don't know because I ripped this one. Whether that got toasted at all or not. A little, yeah, a little, just a little crunch. You know, is what I'm at. Try to put that right over the heat. My heat's pretty low right now. That's why things are going slowly. Roll that one over. That didn't get as much crunch. But you get the idea. I'll tell you one thing, this shit over here is just as good as anything right now. Mm-mm-mm. All right, let's get ready to eat. Actually, I changed my mind. I, was, I meant to put some cheese on the inside of this. So I'll just sprinkle a little bit right here on top. Hope this shall melt down a little. I don't, cheese, cheese and I don't get along too well anyway, so. Let that melt a little bit. Then we'll be ready to eat. All right, let's see what we end up with. I'm pretty damn sure I'm not going to be disappointed. And I got enough to feed an army. See, I don't have an army here today. We'll take these 
guys. A little more crispy on the bottom now. They had a second to cook. Oh wow, that's not a breakfast. But it is actually one o'clock in the afternoon. Oh gosh. The pan looks good, right? I mean, it's practically nothing stuck to it. Just needs a good washing. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Let's go right for a good cut right there. Bacon, eggs, potatoes, cheese, mother. Let's try it again. Day after Christmas brunch. Mm. Mother. Mm. Mother. Good. Holy crap. Not too greasy. The potatoes inside the, I don't know what you call it, breakfast burrito, breakfast taco, breakfast wrap. It's called a breakfast wrap. They're perfectly done. I love that. I hate crunchy potatoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eggs are perfect. Pan worked awesomely. Did the whole thing in one pan, all at the same time almost. So if you got a big ass stove or a campfire, gosh, even without the pepper. Garlic, a little bit of onion powder. Just barely tastes that basil. But you see basil. But you see, but it's there. Mmm. I mean soft, tender. Just enough cheese. Actually I'm glad I put it on top. I wouldn't want it inside. Stay there now. Need to make a bigger fork. Alright guys, you see them enough for me eating. I just can't seem to stop. Damn, 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 it's good. No, you're not. And there you have it. The big ass frying pan did its job with no stick. Just mm, literally, no stick. Awesome. And there's breakfast. And there's the money shop. My All right. I know it was a long journey. I know it wasn't exactly what I was after. That's for sure. No doubt about it. But we made a decent pan. Somebody could use it, you know, on a camping or something like that. Unfortunately, we spent like six or seven hours making it which there's no way to get that money back um, or to get my money out of it. So, um, But we'll clean her up and we'll uh, season her up again and put her out in the storeroom and maybe somebody will buy it. I don't know. I don't know what I'd sell for. I sell my, my little ones for $150. we will see. Hey, thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sure I'll make a short version of this or I'll shorten this up a lot because the work in the pan was something you've seen before, but uh, that's another, hey, we haven't done a cooking one in, well, we did those oysters the other, the other month, but I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed it now. Thanks for your support, really, on Patreon and PayPal. Go back to my home channel. There's a link for either one of them. Um, like, I, like I said, um, part of the reason that, that I'm not doing as many videos is because I have to, to pay the other bills, but that money that comes in certainly helps, and it helps me have, like today, a free day to well, yesterday was a holiday, right? but a free day to, well, not full day, but a half day to uh, to make a video for you. Now, I just have to go back and edit. I got, like, too much to do. Crazy, crazy. Thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed your December 25th and 6th, whatever you did. Ciao. Going back to eating. It's good.
you found this video uh, helpful, educational, maybe even if you just found it entertaining, uh, and you want to support me, you can jump back to my channel. There's a button on the right-hand side of the screen called Support. And it's kind of like a tip jar. You can go ahead and leave channel a tip for this video, and that'll help me make some more. I guarantee. Thanks for your support, as always.